What's going on guys? It's me, Daniel 47 back for another Cryptic Binary Gaming video. And today we're going to be starting a new series, hopefully a little better than the Minecraft one. Uh, we're actually going to be going back and playing some old Pokemon games. And what I mean by that is like the old Fire Red and Leaf Green versions for the original uh, Game Boy Advance games, but as you can tell from the screen, it is actually not a Game Boy Advance I'm recording off of. I'm recording off of my iPad. I got a uh, Game Boy Advance emulator and downloaded all the Pokemon games, so we're going to be starting a new series where we play those. Uh, if you don't want to see Leaf Green, go ahead and comment below, but if you want to see this Fire Red version and more of it after this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and comment down below. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. So here we go. Press start. Uh, I did actually try to record this earlier, and my computer messed up. So I am going to restart a new game. So I'm going to start over this, and we don't really need to know all this, because everybody knows how to play Pokemon. You just move around and fight and all that good stuff. In this world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people. Uh, people? <laughs> And check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times, you will be challenged by others and attacked by wild creatures. Well, that's kind of uh, creepy. Be brave and push on. Throughout your adventure, <coughs> excuse me, we hope that you will interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth that is your biggest objective. Press A to begin and let your ch uh, and let your adventure begin. Uh, this is why I never read in school <laughs> out loud. <laughs> Professor Tree, hello there. <laughs> Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak slash Tree. People affectionately, affectionately, wow, way to be blunt, refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For people, Pokemon are... Yeah, I don't actually remember what that one's called. Steady, Pokemon is profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Okay. Tell me, are you a boy or a girl? Well, I'm a dude, so I'm a good boy. What's your name? My name is Daniel. So, D A oh, There it is. N I E L. Okay. Okay. Right, so your name is Daniel. Yes, it is. <sighs> this is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. What was it? Really? I don't even remember your own grandson's name. Okay. I'm going to do Wes instead of those other weird ones I'm starting out with. Heh, <laughs> well, my bad. Uh. Uh, my cat is meowing if you can't hear him back there. It's like, want to get in my room. No, you cannot command cat. Or was it Wes? Yes, because I just told you that. Oh yeah, I remember now. He was Wes. Yeah, hopefully you'd remember your own grandson's name. My grandpa does, and he's got freaking... He had head trauma, so it's pretty sad. Oh, let's go downstairs. Talk to mom. Right, all boys leave home someday, it says it on TV. Oh yeah, everything on TV is correct. Cat, go away! <laughs> uh, so, I think we're supposed to go in here, because I remember doing this a minute ago. Here we go. Uh, what, it's only Daniel Grant's it now. Okay, so maybe we're not supposed to go in here. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember now. Let's just go up here. And up here. Hey, wait, don't go out! Okay, sure. Oak, it's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for protection. I know, here, come with me. Sure, why not? We'll just get a free Pokemon. I wonder, like, how much you'd have to pay to buy one of those things. That would be really expensive. Especially one of these ones that he's just gonna give us for free. Let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. 
Here, Daniel, there are three Pokemon here. Haha. -ha. Pokemon that are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer, but now, in my old age, I have only these three left. You can have one. Go ahead, choose. Uh, hey, Grant, no fair, what about me? Well, no. You're gonna give me one first. <laughs> okay, so. This one is. Oh, I'm not even gonna have to take it. Bulbasaur. Do you wanna go Bulbasaur? No. Um. Squirtle, I think. Yeah, Squirtle. Uh. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the, the last one, but I'm not gonna pick uh, him. Since this is Fire Red version, um. Uh, normally you would pick Charmander, and I actually have on my emulator that I have for my uh, phone. But I'm going to pick Squirtle, because that turtle is just awesome. So, really quite energetic. He received a Squirtle from Professor Oak. And that, that music is just awesome. Do you want to nickname the Squirtle? Nah. Well then I'll take this one. Wes received the Bulbasaur from Professor Oak. Okay. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Oh, crap. Come on, I'll take you on. <sighs> Dang, you got a big old head of hair. About like me in real life. Got the red afro going on. Okay, so we got a little turtle versus a dinosaur. So pushy, always. Never had a Pokemon battle. Actually, I've had zillions of them. I just haven't played this game in forever. So put their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. Yep. Rather than talk about it, learn from experience. Battling frees up. So we're gonna use tackle. Squirtle use tackle. Inflicting damage is the key to winning any battle. Bulbasaur use tackle. Um, so we're gonna hit first. Bulbasaur use tackle. Squirtle use tackle. Bulbasaur use tackle. Squirtle use tackle again. <laughs> okay, come on, for the last hit. Last hit, there we go, and we finished him off. So Bulbasaur fainted. And, oh yes, level 6. Player defeated Rival West. I didn't say Daniel defeated Rival West. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon. Yeah, no, it's just that you suck! Ah. $80 for winning. Wow. If you win, you earn prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle uh, of the trainers and make your Pokemon strong. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll make my Pokemon tough and love to win. Okay, sure. Grant Smuggle it. Dude, I took a shower right before this video. I don't smell like anything except for maybe some Axe body wash. Do 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 do. Yeah, I really don't want to talk to you right now. No, I don't want to talk to you, little girl. Ugh. Okay. No, they're really not. Run through the tall grass. Crap. Okay. Whatever. Let's add a um. Yeah, sure, we'll go ahead and fight him. Uh, we'll use tackle. See how much damage. Oh! Oh, with the KO! Dang, that was sick. Okay, cool. Six, 16, really? Wow, that sucked. Okay. Really want to fight, like, the least amount of people possible, so we're going to do that. And... As far as I know, you don't fight... Well, he wasn't looking at me anyways, but I don't think you have to fight that guy. Oh, okay. Oh, crap, I don't have any Pokeballs. Yeah, I'm gonna go catch one of these guys man, as soon as I get a Pokeball. Tackle, tackle. How does a bird tackle you? I thought they knew, like, Peck or something like that. Tackle again. Oh. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and get on with our quest to the next town. Squirtle learned bubble. Oh yes! Oh yeah. Bubble Sun. Alright, cool. So we made it through the grass without hitting but 
two Pokemon and then ended up leveling up to level seven. And uh, <clears throat> whoops. Okay, so I don't believe we have to heal up. I think we're pretty much good on health. So we go into the Mart, and I think this guy gives us something. Hey, you came from Pallet Town, right? Yes, we did. You know Professor Oak, right? Yeah, Professor Tree. His order came in. Can you take it to him? Sure, why not? Oak's parcel from Pokemart Clerk. Okay, cool. In the key items pocket. Okay, I think we gotta go give it to him, so that's what we're gonna go do now. Uh, crap. We don't have the running shoes or a bicycle yet. Okay, so... Do -do 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 -do. I think you can skip all the grass by going down here. So that's what we're gonna do, so we can get down to him quick. Uh, oh, nope, not going in the grass. And nope, got in the grass anyways. Alright, come on. Yes, we made it! Didn't even hit a single Pokemon on the way. Alright, so crap. And we go up and in here. And let's give you your little Pokemon guy. Okay, po oh, okay, Daniel. How's my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. Cool. You must be a talented Pokemon trainer. That I am. Because I'm amazing like that. What's that? You have something for me? Daniel delivered Oak Parkway. You know, that's something I've always liked about Pokemon, is that their music was kind of like... It's just so... Memorable. You, I mean, as soon as you hear it once, you'll always remember it. Oh, great. Not this good again. Almost forgot. What did you call me for? You didn't call him. You don't call me. <laughs> I got your crap. <sighs> on the desk here is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Daniel and Wes, take these with you. Sure, why not? Daniel received the Pokedex from Professor Oak. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them, but you have to catch them to get the encyclopedia data. So, here's some tools for catching wild Pokemon. Daniel received five Pokeballs! Yes! Okay. Yeah, everybody knows how to go catch them, so... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That was my dream. Blah, blah, blah. Ah. Yeah. You're a little butthole. Alright, whatever. Bye, old man. Alright, we're gonna go catch a Pokemon. Let's go catch a Pidgey guy. Cause those dudes, like, whenever they evolve into their last one, I don't actually remember what it is. Uh, Pidgeotto, I think, or Pidgeot. One of those two. Uh, crap. Uh, not you. Should be killing. Nah, we'll just run. Alright. So... From what I believe, like what I've read and stuff, they're actually easier to catch whenever they're weakened, and it's just another one of these guys. So, let me run from him too. That would be safe. They can actually prevent you from running, which I I hate when they do that. It's the most annoying thing. Because I mean, it's not like they're gonna beat you or anything. It's just that they just feel like being buttholes. Come on, there we go. Got something. And, again, really? We don't want you! Go away! Ugh, and he got away safely. God, I don't have to fight with these stupid things. Get in the grass. There we go, got something else. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dang it! Ugh! Go, Squirtle! Yeah. Nah. Go back out of that. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna run again. Come on, we need a freaking Pidgey. There we go. Got something. Yes! Okay, we got one. Level 3, not bad. Um, we're gonna use Bubble. Whoa, we use Bubble. And. How much damage? Well, that's not bad. It's not great, but. We can tackle. Don't kill him, don't kill him. Okay, good. He's like just in the red, so we should be fine as far as Pokeball goes. Uh, there we go. Use Pokeball. Let me use Pokeball. Come on. Get it. Yes! Alright, sweet. Alright, so we got a Pidgey. So now we've got two Pokemon, and now 
end up fighting our rivals sooner or later. But um, guys, so that's actually going to be the end of this video. So like I said earlier, be sure to comment down below if you want to see more of this and any other games. I do have a Nintendo DS emulator, so if you want to see any of those uh, Nintendo DS games, I have those on an emulator too. Anyways guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for more of this, and be sure to hit that subscribe button as well to see notifications each time a new video on Cryptic Binary Gaming shows up. Anyways guys, I will see you next time. Bye!